Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, First Impressions Day, we're going to take a look at what's in this box. This is a Natami Inception. First Natami pen for me, so interesting to find out what it's like. Got this pen from AliExpress. Join me now, down on the table. We'll take it out of the box. We'll have a look through the body, do a couple of quick size comparisons, fill it with ink, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions of this pen. Here we are down on the table. Here we've got the box for the Natami Inception. Nice, simple box. We've got a timer there. We've got some writing on the back. Looks like, I believe, some kind of Mandarin or Chinese characters. At the end, we've got the Flight of Time 1919 and same on the other end. So nice, simple, quite attractive looking box. Let's open up and see what's inside. So opening the box, We've got a plastic sleeve, so I'm going to pull that out. So it comes with this nice little pen case. We've got Natami on there again. It's a leather feel. I think it's synthetic leather. Inside is the pen in, in that plastic sleeve. So we'll take that, put that over there and we'll ease the pen out of the sleeve. So this is the Natami Inception. The color I got is called Sky Blue. And just from this first look, it looks really attractive, looks quite nice. You might be able to see little bits of water in here. I've already cleaned it out, ready, so we can get straight on with filling it. So let's take a walk through the body. We'll fetch in the pen stand. So at the top, we have a domed end, so a little bit like a, like a cigar type shaped pen. This is nice, and the way it reflects the light, you can see there's some kind of patterning in there, so it's capturing that light on them fancy cuts. Looks quite nice. Domed at the end, there's a black dot that I can see there in the middle. So we're coming down. I just quite like this. I think that end bit, that end finial there, that looks quite nice. Anyway, we come down and we've got a silver colored clip. Quite a plain shape. It's on its own band, so I'm assuming that I could unscrew this end if I wanted to. The clip, really stiff, can hardly shift that. Doesn't bother me because I very rarely use the clips. If we look then at the cap, so the cap is in this gorgeous material. Now I'm not sure that you can see there, I don't know if it's just a liner or it's just been made to look like there's a liner, but we can see there, you can't really see the nib through even though it's transparent. We come out until we get maybe a third of the way down the actual clip, and then it seems to go to be the same width all the way down. There's facets on the cap. You can f hopefully see them. I can feel them with my fingers, just trying to catch them with the light. So that's going all the way around. So we come down. We've got a band at the bottom here. Here we've got Flight of Time 1919, and that's... Uh, Again, it's silver colored, but I think it's plastic. The way this comes down, it's actually stepped. So we step slightly up from the cap onto the band. Then it steps down, then down again to the body. You can hardly feel the fact that it's stepping down. It's done quite well. Coming into the body. So the body, to my eye, is immediately tapering. A nice gentle taper all the way down. When we get to about three quarters of the way down, about here, it does taper in slightly sharper. You can feel the change. And then we come to this rounded end. Again, we've got this transparent material and we've got this facets on there. Really plays nicely with the light. Let's take the cap off. So it takes half, one, one and a half, two. About two and a quarter turns to take the cap off. Not too bad. And that reveals this nib. Nice nib here, nice attractive nib. Anyway, we've got Natami written going down. We've got F in a circle, fine nib, so I'm assuming that's for the fine nib. And then we've got the flight of time underneath that. It's actually quite a nice looking nib. I quite like the look of that. That looks like it's just inserted into the section. Section does look small. I'll get a better idea as I start writing. Same transparent material, so this color is going all the way through. Hopefully that means we might get to be able to see a little bit of the ink in there. I do like when I can see the ink flowing around. 
the body comes off to reveal the included converter. As I say, there's some water in there. I've already cleaned it out. I always clean my pens out before I first ink them. Metal fit in. So although the rest of the body is plastic, and I think it must be injection molded, you can see the dimple here. You've got that metal fit in, so not something you'd even consider eyedroppering. All in all, I just quite like the look of it. It's quite nice. It's attractive, it's simple, but it's also classic. Let's do some size comparisons. I brought in my two standard pens, so we've got a Pilot Metropolitan and we've got the Lamy Safari. All three pens very much similar in terms of length. The Natami definitely looks wider than the Metropolitan. Maybe on a par with the Safari, apart from the fact we've got this more torpedo shape, so it thins out as it goes towards the end. Let's take the caps off. With the caps off, the Natami, definitely the shorter of the three pens, noticeably shorter even than the Metropolitan. In the hand, it feels not too bad. Does feel a little bit on the short side for me. Section definitely thin. Does the pen post? Yeah, seems to post quite nicely, but that to me looks a bit loose. It wiggles very easily. And yeah, as soon as I'm putting it in my hand here, that's coming loose. So I don't think I'd be able to use this posted. And posted, it feels very long. It feels very back heavy. Unposted, I think I'd just about get away with using it unposted. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out, and as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos, and then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members? All down to us. So please, if you can, Consider joining the channel. A link will be in the description down below. Time now to put some ink in the pen. Just get these out of the way. I'll fetch in my ink pot holder. The ink, I thought I'd put a bluish ink in here and I thought I'd go for Dimine or Daniil. This is a nice dark, well not dark blue, but it's an unusual blue. And I think by the look of it, just by looking at this color here, it looks quite nice. So hopefully we'll have a good match. So let's take the lid off that. Move that converter down to the bottom. All right, insert the pen. It fits inside the bottle quite nicely. I'm going to try and angle this so you can see the ink coming up. So there's one, push it back down, and there's the second pass. So we've got that about three quarters full of ink. I'll just pop the pen back together and let's get this ink out of the way. Time now for our writing sample. In comes the notepad of testing. This is Oxford Optic Paper. It's a black and red notebook, A5 notebook. Nice, really nice fountain pen friendly paper. Here's the pen in the Tami Inception. So how do we write? We have here a Natami Inception. So straight away it looks like we've got an issue with ink flow let me just go and test this on a scrap piece now i'm struggling to get this to write what i've done is i forced some more ink down into the feed so let's see how we go so in inception the price for this was 27 aussie dollars the ink by diamine and odoneal Drying times, so we go immediate, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. After a minute, teeniest bit of a smudge, but not really enough to worry about. Is there any line variation? So this is with no pressure. Now I'm going to add some pressure. 
slightly wider line, but maybe because there's more ink coming through. So no pressure with, none with, none and with. Don't really see much there coming out differently. I'm going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen write. Actually not too bad, better than what I was expecting after that bit of a rough start. Flow test. Let me go backwards. Yeah, that's not too bad. I say we had a bit of a rough start. But yeah, it seems to, once I got that ink there into the feed again, that seems to have fixed it. I'm not sure why that should have happened. Something I need to look at. So that's my writing sample with the Natami Inception. So what are my first impressions of this pen? Well, I think it's a very nice looking pen, really pretty looking. I love this color, this sky blue. I'm glad I got this color. I think it looks nice. It's different. Let's just take a look in there. There may be a cap liner. Hopefully I... that might come through on the camera. Let me fetch in. I don't use this very often. I should use this more often. So if I put my LED th light in there, you can see there there is, and I can feel it at the end. So there is a little bit of a cap liner. That'd be interesting to see how that works long term, if it dries out or not. Smallish pen, doesn't post very well, so would have been nice if it was better at posting because, as I say, for me, I know I've got fairly large hands, but this does feel just that little bit on the small side. I'd have liked either an extra half a centimetre there of length on the actual body or to be able to post it nicely and use it posted. Section does feel thin. I need to try that out. I need to play around with it. A lot of pens that I get from China, the sections are thin, so it's not something unusual. I love the simplicity here on the nib. You know, we've got a little bit of pattern in, but we've got this nice engraving as well. It looks very nice. Writing wise, it's a fine nib. I didn't put that up here at the top. It's a fine. And it's definitely a fine. I would say line wise, it's what I was expecting. I was disappointed with the issue we had here at the top. I oh, just managed to rub where I've just written the, the F. For a pen brand that I've not had before, I think this is a really good pen to start with. I need to use it more. I need to see if this flow issue was just a one-off or if it's something that happens more often. And I think I need to try a couple of different inks in here as well. So I need to do a fair bit of writing with this over the next few weeks to really uh, explore it. One of the things I may do is with the nib, I may try seeing if I can get a little bit of a wider gap there between the tines, just to see if that can help improve the ink flow and hopefully give me a slightly nicer line as well. Remember, my preference is actually broad nibs, so going for a fine is a little bit of a shock going from them broad nibs that I normally use. But all in all, really pleased with it, really like the look of it. So this is my first impressions of the Natami Inception with Diamine Eldenil. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What are your thoughts on this pen? What are your thoughts on Natami pens? What other different brands from China can you recommend? I know I've already got plenty of Jin Hao, Moon Man, Wing Sung, Fully Wen, a couple of other manufacturers, but I'd love to try different pens from different manufacturers. Why not drop a comment down below? What pens can you recommend? Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.